Welcome back to the WIKE Chamber Report here again with Diane Bedard, NatureCoaster.com. Um, and we were just talking about some of the recognition, some of the awards that you have won, um, which is phenomenal. Best local blog for the state of Florida, number one, um, as well, a few years later, number three. Um, and some of your writing awards as well. And I want to talk to you about why it's so important when advertisers are looking at being involved with your organization, being involved online, telling that story is very important, correct? Yes, yes. The storytelling, but well, words are what connect people, mm. along with images. Mm -hmm. um, but the way that people find things online is still words. So storytelling draws the person in and it gives them a connection to you that they won't have otherwise. An ad in a newspaper, for example, is a pretty flat mm -hmm. thing, you know. And it's okay. It's important to say special $20 off or special yeah, $100. $100. I think we're, it's, it's two separate ways of advertising. Yes, right? it is. So the local newspaper is great for getting that information out there right away, quick, big, bold print. Very important. But this is a separate way of it's, telling it's your story. It's relationship building. Exactly. And that's what Nature Coaster does really well, is we build relationships with our readers. And I get emails regularly, oh, I love your publication, mm -hmm. oh, I can't wait till it comes on Thursdays. It makes me feel so good. Mm -hmm. Then I also get things like, when is the trash schedule? <laughs> and they don't give me any other information. Like, I would know where they live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what's, what's funny about but that is it tells me I'm a trust trusted you. source of information. So mm -hmm. that's what I tell myself every time I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> but clearly they trust you, which you've already kind of done part of the work for your advertisers, building that trust. Yes. So now if you've got someone who is promoting something on your site, there's already a level of trust there that that's a reputable organization. Well, and we work really hard to make sure that the people that we work with as partners and advertisers are reputable organizations. I'm not the person that goes in there when you open the business to get your first advertising money mm -hmm. because I feel like I have a responsibility to the reader to show them an organization that's going to be there for a while, that has the kinks worked out. Mm -hmm. You know, when you first open a business, you don't have everything figured out. The first or three to do, six let months. Us know, yes. So. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> tell me your secrets. The first three to six months, you're really fine tuning things. Mm -hmm. Employees. Mm -hmm. um, offerings, pricing, all that stuff comes into play and has to be tweaked. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier to deal with a business that's been around for a little while. Mm -hmm. We work to build those partnerships. Very good. And I mean, obviously, we can sit here and talk all day about how beneficial it is. But how do your advertisers know that it's working? They have people come in and tell them. <laughs> or they get click-throughs, you know, where they see that the advertisement that they put on Nature Coaster went straight to their website where mm -hmm. someone got involved with them. Mm -hmm. There's a direct correlation. You can physically see yes. how much click-through you're getting, how much traction you are getting through that. So we've worked with you on several occasions through the <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. How has that partnership kind of worked out, do you think? I think it's on our end. It's been wonderful. Both of our festivals had a feature this year, the mm -hmm. Florida Manatee Festival, Strawberry Festival. Um, we've been a supporter of you and we will continue to be a supporter of you because we see that it works. Well, and I love working with the chamber. Um, your chamber is very involved in the community. Mm -hmm. The small businesses are connected through your chamber, which means that we have a similar mission. You know, we, we're working to build a better community. Exactly. And so it's a perfect partnership, really, mm -hmm. from my point of view. And I'm always grateful when I can connect people to stuff that you do because mm -hmm. you put on good festivals. Well, thank you. And I appreciate it. I want to get more involved with the luncheons mm -hmm. and the behind the scenes kind of stuff. 
that will happen as COVID clears up. Mm -hmm. I live with someone and we have just committed to not going out and doing a lot of social activities. So, mm -hmm. Which is quite all right, but it really, it makes sense, as you said, for us to partner together and work together um, to build our community up, as you said. So what uh, are the plans? And I think, excuse me for interrupting, but I think that I can help the chamber be a more regional organization because this is really a regional publication mm -hmm. and together the Nature Coast is stronger than any of the three counties are. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what are the plans for the future of Nature Coaster? And one of the things I think we have talked about mm -hmm. is nonprofit organizations are yes. a focus for you this year, correct? Yes. I. So this area also, the Nature Coast, we have a great community spirit mm -hmm. where when we find a friend is down, we, go, we band together and help bring them up. All the festivals that are done benefit nonprofits in the area. That's throughout the whole market area. That's the way things are done. So what I want to do is, we have our featured business profiles. I want all of the local nonprofits to register and become part of the directory so that we can help connect people who want to volunteer, people who want to donate with the organizations that can help them do the most good. Wonderful, wonderful. And how do the um, nonprofits get in touch with you to kind of set that up and get that going? They can just contact me at diane at naturecoaster.com. Mm -hmm. And this information is up on the website? It is. It says Featured Business Profile, and those are free to sign up for. And then when I see it's a nonprofit, I'll reach out for the rest of the, instead of the free business profile, there's mm -hmm. quite a bit more. There's the images, there's the long mm -hmm. story, there's the connections to your website and your social media. So I'll reach out to make the next step happen. Very good. And also, um, as we talked about the events calendar earlier, that's also a free resource for any business as well as nonprofits that are hosting events and yes. want to get that word out there. Yes, I really would like to see everybody. I mean, everybody. <laughs> Susie's birthday party. Put it on the. <laughs> that may not quite make it. <laughs> All the events need to be on the calendar of events. You're missing out on people that want to come mm -hmm. because they're reading and they're looking for things to do and suddenly they want to come to Citrus County to do them. There you go. Well, I think we could sit here and talk all day about Nature Coaster, where you guys are headed, what you're doing, and all of the involvement you have locally on the Nature Coast, um, but we just don't have all day to do it. So I'm going to encourage people to visit naturecoaster.com, yes. see what's going on, see what's there, and really think about getting engaged and getting involved with the, the website. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Diane, for coming in. We really appreciate everything you do for the Nature Coaster organizations as well as the Chamber. We look forward to a long partnership with your organization. So. Me too. It's the WYKE Chamber Report.